So we're running a test here at Glow Research to show how the Optiglos uh, ACE system can be used to change the hydrophobicity of the wafer. So now here's the before shot. This is on a silicon wafer and you can see that the water beads up fairly readily. So the next step is that we will take this wafer and we'll run in the Glow Research Optiglow A system. The first test will be with nitrogen as the gas. So once again, that's what it looks okay, like. Okay, so we've swabbed the wafer off, removing the DI water. Now Dave is going to pick up the wafer and we're going to put it in the Optiglow A system. This is a three inch wafer and we're going to put it on the RIE shelf or the powered shelf. We're going to close the door. We're going to run this at about 100 uh, watts, Dave? 100 watts. 100 watts. 30 seconds. And so we'll let the system pump down. And we're bringing the gas, the nitrogen, through the left flow meter. Okay, so the system is pumped down. Now we hit the start button, you can see the plasma ignites. And the pressure equalizes up to about 0.4 tor, 0.39 tor. And we're going to run this for about 30 seconds. The system has automatically cut off the plasma or ended the plasma process when it times out at 30 seconds. And now it's vented back to the atmosphere and Dave will open up the front door, removing the sample from the powered shelf of the Optiglow A system. We set this, the wafer on top and once again we've been using nitrogen as a gas. And now we're going to see the surface tension and As you can see, the water now spreads out. It's very hydrophilic surface, which indicates a change in surface tension and also cleaning the wafer. Okay, so now we're taking a fresh wafer and we're gonna do pretty much the same test on this. This time we're gonna use oxygen as the gas. So Dave pumps the system down. Once again, we're gonna operate about what, what uh, power, Dave? 100 watts. About 100 watts and we're going to go for about 30 seconds. Okay, so now we're running an oxygen plasma. Let me take the camera. You can see it's a very dull plasma as compared to nitrogen plasma. We're going to run this for about 30 seconds. We'll let the system come back to atmosphere and then we'll take it out. Okay, so now we've uh, uh, equalized uh, the uh, chamber it's back to the atmosphere and Dave's going to take the wafer out of the Optiglow ACE system once again putting it right on the top of the system and now I'll take the camera and we'll go right up next to the substrate the silicon substrate and once again this is with oxygen and as you can see once again we get a very hydrophilic surface Surface tension allows the water to spread out very readily. If you need more information on the Glow Research OptiGlow ACE system, we have several videos that describe the operation of this system. From Glow Research, thank you very much. Please know that we are at your service.